Hey everybody, Lord Metal Blade here with another album review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 1997 Geffen Jeffen Records release of American Psycho by none other than The Misfits. Now, if you are unaware of The Misfits, they are a horror th movie themed hardcore bunk band from Lodi, New Jersey from 1977. Now, this band has been through many lineup changes over the years up to this point. Back from the early years being Glenn Danzig on vocals, Jerry Only on bass, Doyle Von Frankenstein on guitar, and on, I believe it was... I forget who's on drums, but... And then as time went on into the 90s, they reformed, but with Michael Graves on vocals, Dr. Chud on drums, Jerry Only still on bass, and Doyle still on guitars. Now, for me, I prefer the Michael Graves era of The Misfits. I love Danzig's version of the misfits back in the back in the 80s early like late 70s early 80s stuff and then you have the devil's reign that recently came out in 2011 with jerry only on vocals which is a damn good record but it honestly it doesn't beat the michael grave stuff which in, is in my opinion honestly now this record is about 17 tracks long some of them being incredibly short, others being exceptionally long, maybe up to four minutes, which is p the normal time length in any song. But this record and the following one to come out, Famous Monsters, I prefer this one over Famous Monsters because some of the songs on here are more, like I like the rhythm on this album a lot better, I like the lyrics a lot more. Michael's voice between American Psycho and Famous Monsters, they don't really have a difference. It's more kind of the same, but I think I think his voice is, was more more better on American Psycho. But the thing of it is, on the final track, Don't Open Till Doomsday, they have a hidden track on there, which is Hell Time, I think it is which is after the after Don't Open Till Doomsday is done playing, there's a little intermission and then it breaks into it. Which I think is pretty cool when they add hidden tracks on records. But when I said this band has gone through so many changes, a lot of people prefer the Danzig era. They thought that Michael Graves was just way different than Danzig. He sung too high. But honestly, I think it's way better than Danzig stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, they put out awesome records such as Static Age, Walk Among Us, which is a fucking awesome Misfits record that they put out with Danzig on vocals. And then, as time went on, after the Michael Graves era, they moved on with The Devil's Reign, which came out in 2011, and a lot of people put hate on that record, thought it was nothing like Misfits they knew, it sounded crappy, the lyrics were horrible, but I loved it. I mean, Jerry only is the still only the original member left in the band, and I'm honestly I'm glad that there there isn't no all new members. There's still one original member left, which I hope doesn't change. And I actually had the opportunity of seeing them last year when they came to Hollywood back in November, and that was an awesome concert for me. First band I've ever gone into. I've been a fan of this band since kindergarten. I finally get to see these guys, doesn't matter what lineup it was, if it was Danzig on vocals, Michael Graves, or Jerry Only, it was all there. They played awesome songs, they actually played a few songs off of the American Psycho. They played, they actually did the opening uh, Abominable Dr. Fibs and Into American Psycho. They also played The Haunting, which was pretty cool. Now The Haunting, in my opinion, I think is the shortest track on the record. I think it's like maybe a minute long, but it's still good. Now the songs on this record, they're all of different different variety. There's fast ones, there's slow ones. The best song off this record, though, has to be Dig Up Her Bones. I seen the music video for this for this song. It was absolutely amazing. I love the work that they do with the video with both showing the fiend and showing the live footage. And I think it's pretty cool. But this is one band that has been around for a many, excuse me, for many years, and hopefully still years to come. 
that were constantly putting out awesome stuff, having great shows everywhere they go. And maybe, maybe they'll have a reunion with Michael Graves, or even better, maybe even have an, an old school, the first lineup back from the 80s. I would definitely go see a show like that. Doesn't matter what kind of reunion tour of it is, if it's with Michael, Doyle, and Shud, or if it's with Danzig and all them. I would go see it anywhere. This album, though, is completely fantastic. I really couldn't give it a score, though, because it's too good. I mean, it, with all the other stuff, when you compare it, it's definitely different from when you listen to Walk Among Us, then you listen to American Psycho and Famous Monsters, so... That's all I have to say about this record. It's a damn good release. If you're an old school punk fan, go buy this album. Get into this band. You will not be disappointed. So I'm going to end this review here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all later.